What's up guys, my name is Bart, and today we're going to be making these really cool upper cabinets for my laundry room remodel, and it's the first time I'm doing it, so I'm sure we're going to run into a couple problems here and there, but we're going to get through it together and we're going to solve them. So grab some popcorn and let's have some fun. Welcome to the Comar Project. Alright, so for this project we're going to be using 3 quarter inch Baltic birch plywood that I have left over from a couple other projects and pocket hole joinery. So let's break this stuff down and get this project started. So I was actually planning on using a Craig jug for pocket holes, but then I start thinking to myself that this thing's gonna get painted. So why am I worried about, you know, filling holes, nail holes? Yeah, no, let's let's fill some nail holes. Glue and brad nails. I'm gonna use a Craig jig. Just for the top and bottom. And because I haven't used this thing in like over a year. I don't know if I remember how to set it up. I'm gonna open the box. Okay. Okay. I can figure this out. What are the instructions? Talk and paint will fix what a carpenter ain't. Or a maker. Or a cabinet maker? Whatever. Laundry room remodeler. <laughs> So this is the bottom of the cabinet. Let me show you. So this is the top and this is the bottom of the cabinet. You want to leave three quarters of an inch from the bottom where you're installing your bottom so that, I don't know why, but that's what you do, okay? So three quarters inch up. Let's do it. And the way I do that, I just take my piece and I mark it off. Easiest way of doing it. You flip it back over, you have your marks. Three quarters of an inch to like Easy, right? Yeah. Way too easy. I'm gonna mess something up for sure. Yeah, I messed up. Tops and bottoms are too big. By like three quarters of an inch. Hey, I chalk it up to a learning curve. Or being dumb. But that's okay. We caught it on the first one so we can trim them down. We'll be good. I really do. I really do. It's gonna be interesting. Ah! Don't sweat my pack, couple more little holes, and we're back in business. Ha <laughs> ha! Get ourselves a pocket hole, cheek. You got your pocket holes, you too. They okay, my friend, they okay. Almost there. My last screw. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> One more screw. 
guys. Yeah, the pinholes, I forgot those again. <laughs> you gotta laugh about it though, right? You know, it's... You make a mistake once and then you do it again. That's okay though, because that's the beauty of learning. <laughs> I just learned how to make a mistake twice! Yeah. But the cabinet looks nice. Let's make some holes. Face frame, one by material that we're gonna rip down to an inch and a half. An inch and a quarter. Inch and a half, let's go. Now when doing face frames, you wanna apply the glue and then you want to keep this as flush as possible. So you wanna clamp it down and then you can drive your screws in. Okay, now we're gonna install our face frame on top of the cabinet, and all we're gonna do is glue and use some brad nails. Super easy, I think, I think. And I'm just using a spacer to put back here to get my spacing. And I'm shifting the cabinet back and forth to see exactly where I need it. All right, with the doors, I got super lucky because I found these at Habitat for Humanity called Restore. And it's basically like a thrift store for contractors. And if you have one around you, I suggest you check it out because these cost me five bucks. Solid maple. We got ourselves a nice little cabinet. And the only thing that's left is to caulk, spackle, sand, primer, paint. There's a lot to do still, but we're gonna do it. But you guys can see that this is a fairly simple project and anybody can do it. So it's just like building a box with a door on it. So don't be afraid to try a new thing like me. I've never done this before. So let's get this thing finished up and Hung in the wall. Bumper, bumper. Oh, you guys hear that? Okay, it's time to spackle and paint, and I'm a huge fan of that. This is a spackle that has a dry time indicator in it, so you put it on pink, pinka, and it turns white when it's done and you're ready to sand. So I love this stuff. And for the caulking, I use Alex Fast Dry. It is a latex caulk so you can paint over it. It dries in about 20, 30 minutes, so you can go ahead and keep working. I just use my finger and fill in all the little holes. And on the edges, I have some tear out, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that stuff in with the spackle as well. Come back, sand it, and be nice and smooth. Words of wisdom for the next cabinet you make? Cabinet. Words of wisdom. Go. Buy them. <laughs> no words of wisdom, babe. That was a good word just, of just do it because you can figure it out. Because you can. That's all. Oh. Da, 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 da. <laughs>
thought ironing would. I don't even iron my clothes. Maybe I should. What do you guys think? Should I start ironing my clothes? Let me know in the comment section below. Is my shirt wrinkly? <laughs> Usually they are. Okay, now that we have our cabinets nice and primed, it's time to castle the crap out of them. Yeah, no. We're just painting them green. Yeah, I could do this, like this, right? Let's do that. Time has finally come to hang the cabinets that I made. And to do that, we gotta find where the studs are. I mean, there's one right here, but we need the wood studs in the wall. And to do that, I'm just gonna use a stud finder, mark my locations, pre drill the cabinets, hang them. Might need some help with that, though. That's oh, not working. Can't see it. Yeah, it's not working. The stud finder. Yes, <laughs> it is. Hold on. It. Oh, it works. It still works, babe. It, it. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Told you guys I'm a stud. <laughs> so I'm not a stud. Okay, so I got three inches from each corner, so I'm gonna measure that three inches inside of that cabinet, counting for the three quarter inch backing. And that should be exactly where my stud is. Alright, since I'm not pulling the washer and dryer out and I'm not putting anything underneath to hold the cabinet, I'm gonna need the boss lady to help. Babe! I need your help. Some cabinets, baby. This is the happy cabinet dance. Happy cabinet dance. Happy cabinet, happy cabinet, cabinet. Ooh, the dirty paws are on it already. You're gonna have to clean it. Still hanging in one piece, which is a big deal. But 
We had a lot of fun doing it, overcame a couple of problems that we ran into, which is the best part about making and learning. So if you guys want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments section below. As always, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and then hitting that bell notification so you don't miss the upcoming content coming out. Got a bunch of videos coming out on this laundry room, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Thank you so much for joining me on my experience. I will see you guys next time.